Hey, what's up everyone? Today, we're gonna talk about the Tennessee Titans and whether or not they are real contenders. Make sure to like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell. It helps me out a lot. So on Tuesday, the Tennessee Titans destroyed the Buffalo Bills 42-16 in a game that was honestly really surprising. I know that Tennessee is a good team, but to do that to the Bills, who are turning into really my personal dark horse title contenders, yeah, that shocked me. Of course, it's only one game and I'm not counting up the Bills just yet. Next week, the Bills are playing the Kansas City Chiefs, which will show us how for real the Bills are or not. So back to the Titans. Wow. They actually intercepted Josh Allen two times and forced two fumbles recovering one of those. Derrick Henry only had 57 yards averaging just three yards per carry, but he did score two touchdowns and absolutely destroyed Josh Norman on this stiff arm. Yeah, no one wants to be stiffed arm like that, like they're a toy on the field. Derrick Henry is just a beast, man. Ryan Tannehill threw for 195 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions on 75% completion and had a great touchdown run as well. AJ Brown had a good game catching, seven passes for 82 yards and a touchdown that again made Josh Norman look bad. The game started really good in the first half where after a Buffalo field goal, the score was Tennessee 14, Buffalo 10 in the second quarter. But a touchdown to end the half and one to start the second half, they got out to a 28 to 10 lead over Buffalo and it was pretty much over. I actually really like the Bills. You guys probably saw my video a few weeks ago talking about how I think they can really make some noise, win the division, and make a great playoff run. There were some mistakes here and there and during this game that really cost them. I would say overall, however, that the Tennessee Titans really deserve the win and they just played a solid game on both ends of the field, offensively and defensively. Just look at the career turnaround for Ryan Tannehill and like what he's done in his career since he left Miami. This guy was a wide receiver in college, now he looks like a top 10 quarterback. So far this season, Tannehill has completed 69% of his passes for 1,004 yards, 9 touchdowns and just 1 interception. He's also only been sacked 3 times. He looks great and again, as we all saw last year in the playoffs, once he took over the team, he along with a great defense took them all the way to the AFC Championship game where they held a lead over the Kansas City Chiefs. This team has a lot of talent and Coach Vabral really has done a fantastic job leading this team. Derrick Henry's numbers aren't really up to his standards so far this year as he's only averaging 3.7 yards per carry and yet they are undefeated at 4-0. So as you can imagine, once Henry gets his numbers going up, they're just going to improve their offense even more than they already are playing right now. The Titans are in the AFC South, where their only competition in the division is pretty much just the Indianapolis Colts with Phillip Rivers. The Colts are 3-2, while the Titans are 4-0. This week, the Titans will be facing the Texans in a game that will basically end the Texans' season if they lose, which I think the season is already over for them. Check out my Bill O'Brien video to learn more about that dumpster fire. In two weeks though, we get Tennessee versus Pittsburgh, in which should be a matchup between two of the best teams in the AFC and two of the best teams in the entire league. That will be a bench benchmark game for this team to see how their defense can play against the Steelers offense but again the Bills offense has been amazing and incredible this year and they really held them in check just to 17 points. Again I've been so impressed with the Titans from the midseason last year all the way up until now. They have great playoff experience, a lot of veterans and talent and the biggest thing to me they have some of the best effort play I have seen on a team in the NFL this season. That might sound a little cheesy but effort is something that you can actually see on film when you're watching and this team just plays with a lot of effort. Unfortunately, we won't see this team against the Chiefs again unless they meet in the playoffs and I sure hope that they do. A rematch of last year's game would be awesome to see. Overall, I was just really impressed with the Titans game this past week and really I think they are showing a lot of people that they might be more for real and a bigger contender than everyone else thinks. This is a team that almost defeated the eventual Super Bowl champions and as we saw in the playoffs last year, their defense just dominated. I think with another year under Vabral's coaching and another year of them maturing and Ryan Tannehill looking like a really good quarterback, this team really can take that next step and could potentially go to the Super Bowl. Now that would take a lot, and again, 
the game against Pittsburgh will really be telling in how for real this team is or not, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm really excited to see what they do. So guys, let me know in the comments down below, are the Titans for real? Are they playoff contenders, Super Bowl contenders? Comment yes or no down below to let me know. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Make sure to check out my other videos. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.